Students at Clovis West are making a pledge to do the right thing. It's part of the Eagles of Honor Week, where students promise to be responsible and drug-free. Action News anchor Graciela Moreno was at the campus today, where students heard the hard truth about drug addiction from a man who almost lost his life to prescription drugs. The choices that you make today are going to stay with you for the rest of your life. Flint Anderson is proof of that. A bad choice made while still in high school led to a 20-year addiction to prescription drugs. At the end of my addiction, I was taking 40 to 60 double-strength Vicodin a day. Anderson shared his story with students at Clovis West High School, telling them how his addiction almost killed him and severely damaged his relationship with friends and family. He's been clean for two years now and since then started Prescription Abusers in Need, or PAIN, a nonprofit that focuses on awareness, prevention, and hope. All teenagers think they do have that S on their chest, that they're not going to become addicted, that they can do anything. The main thing you can do is not give up on them. Because Anderson's message resonated with at least one student in the crowd. I'd done Vicodin, I'd done codeine, um, ecstasy. 16-year-old Chad Takeda says his drug use stemmed from a deep depression and he even contemplated suicide. After two overdoses, Takeda was sent away to a treatment center for troubled boys in Utah. And that, that was a shock to me. I never thought my parents would ever do anything like that. And that's, I think that's the same mindset as a lot of kids here. They never think their parents would do anything because they, they love them too much. Takeda now realizes his parents' love saved his life. He wants other students to understand they're not invincible. He hopes to listen to Anderson's message and get the help they need. Thanks for having me again. Good luck to you all. I appreciate it very much. Graciela Moreno, ABC 30 Action News. According to pain, 60% of teens will experiment with narcotic painkillers before the age of 15. Anderson tells parents to be on the lookout for changes in their child's mood and behavior, weight loss, and irregular sleeping patterns. It's a growing problem in the country and in local high schools, prescription drug abuse. Today, a recovered addict shares his story with Clovis West teenagers. I was the only junior ever student body vice president of McLean High School and at the same time putting LSD in my eye. Flint Anderson, McLean High School graduate and founder of Pain, Prescription Abusers in Need, talks to Clovis West High School students about drugs. He says the number one drug of choice these days among high schoolers, prescription painkillers. Three and five high school seniors actually use and abuse OxyContin and Vicodin and uh, about 60 percent of teenagers are going to try the drug before the age of 15. He told the group about his addiction to Vicodin. It took me down to the point where uh, I actually had a heart attack and open heart surgery because of it. One student was so inspired by Anderson he gave an impromptu speech about his own drug use. His testimony was amazing just the fact that <clears throat> he's been through so much and I know that I could have been there if I kept doing things and if my parents hadn't getting, gotten me help, I could have been dead now. Takeda says he was afraid his peers wouldn't get the message. I don't think any of the kids really took it seriously because, I mean, they don't really think that's going to happen to them or that they're going to get in trouble. And I just wanted to warn them from like a kid's point of view that it can actually happen. The assembly also had a message for parents. Once these kids start taking it, they will become addicted. That's not a question of, of are they, they're going to be. And once that starts, everything's just going to go downhill from there. Police say addiction to painkillers, especially OxyContin, is an expensive habit. On the street, one pill costs about 40 to $50.